The Holy Land is still experiencing an atmosphere of feasting after the canonization of the two Arab religious who lived here and who made history, Maryam of Jesus Crucified Bawaudi and Marie Alphonsine Gattas. Following the canonization by Pope Francis, which took place last May in Rome, local Christians have taken part in numerous celebrations. Faithful and religious participated in Thanksgiving Masses in various places throughout the Holy Land. In Bethlehem, on August the 26th, Patriarch Monsignor Fouad Dwal presided over the Holy Mass. Saint Mariam of Jesus Crucified was known for her silent prayer of contemplation and worship, while Saint Mary Alphonsine stood out for her practical life, and we need both the contemplative and the practical life. At the Carmelite convent of Bethlehem, the prayer of the religious was combined with the desire to take some steps towards sainthood. I thank God for those two saints because through them the Lord has helped me know that we can all receive His grace, grace that God gives to everyone, but particularly to those who open their hearts and who accept this gift and who walk on the path of holiness. According to the liturgical calendar, St. Mariam Bawaldi's feast is on August the 26th, but in Nazareth, the commemoration took place on the following Sunday, August the 30th, to allow more faithful to participate. The Basilica of the Annunciation was crowded, and the Patriarchal Vicar of Nazareth, Monsignor Marcuzzo, presided over the Eucharistic celebration. Oggi abbiamo naturalmente insistito sul fatto Today, we of course emphasize the fact that this saint is a saint of the Holy Land. She has a holiness that is Nazarene, apostolic and of the Spirit. These aspects that are linked to the Holy Land, to its country, its culture, its language, and we invited all of the faithful to be truly, as St. Paul said in Ephesians, sons of the homeland of the saints. Even today, the Holy Land is home to the saints. L'Epistola agli Efesini a essere i figli della patria dei santi. La terra santa è la patria dei santi anche oggi. Daughter of the Holy Land, as she was called by John Paul II in her beatification, Marouane Boaldi was the first Carmelite in the Holy Land. Il più bel insegnamento che Maria ha lasciato a noi. The most beautiful teaching that Mary left us was humility, and I also stress prayer and faith, but above all, extreme humility, with all of the mystical graces she had, with all of the predictions and prophecies that later came true. She was extremely humble, naturally humble. Marie Alphonsine was also marked by strong religious mystical experiences, Born in Jerusalem, she founded the Congregation of the Sisters of the Rosary, the first and only congregation of Arab origin in the Holy Land. The fact that the founder of the congregation is a saint is even more of a daily motivation for all of the members of the congregation. The lives of these two sisters was a witness and continues to be an example that witnesses to Christians in this place. They give us a great example for, first of all, the love of Jesus, but also the, the, they have something in common, which is the love for Mary. So they also encourage us to love Mary and to, uh, especially that we are in Nazareth, which is the city of Mary. So they encourage us to, first of all, to love Mary and also to be saints through that, like they did. For compatriots of Mariam Boaldi and Mary Alphonsine, the recognition of the holiness of two women who have experienced their own way of life is a great cause for celebration. We are very proud to have two saints from our land. We are, have the honor to, be, to live in this land. Uh, they, they teach us how to live the word of Christ. And uh, happy feast to all of you. Hallelujah.